एवरीवन लेट अस डिस्कस दिस एग्जांपल इन दिस एग्जांपल वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ अ वेक्टर फील्ड अलोंग ए गिवन कर्व सो गिवन वेक्टर फील्ड आई हैव रिटर्न हियर f ऑफ xy इज इक्वल टू x2 2xy, y2 2xy. सो लेट मी राइट अ गिवन कर्व आल्सो व्हाट वी हैव गिवन कर्व इज कर्व इज y is equal to x square and which is from they have mentioned minus 1 comma 1 to 1 comma 1 okay and from this point to that point so we have to consider that curve so after that what will i do i will find a parameterization of a given curve what is meaning of parameterization that means simply we express a curve with the help of single variable so for that i am going to put x is equal to t here let me do putting x is equal to t so we have this relation so if i put x is equal to t obviously we will have y is equal to t square so implies let me write y is equal to t square here you can easily see x varies from where to where x varies from minus 1 to 1 okay minus 1 to 1 you can consider the x coordinate of these two points but we have already mentioned here x is equal to t and x varies from minus 1 to 1 so obviously t also varies from minus 1 to 1 so therefore therefore t also varies from minus 1 to 1 okay so we have some space let us use see now we can define a parameterization of a given curve then then consider a parameterization parameterization let me write here we will denote it by alpha alpha from minus 1 comma 1 to r2 okay since our t varies from minus 1 to 1 so that's why i have defined alpha on close interval minus 1 comma 1 is defined as which is defined as let me mention here which is defined as defined as alpha of t is equal to okay so we are defining alpha on close interval minus 1 comma 1 but codomain of alpha is r2 so there will be two components here x component there y component but already we have got here x is equal to t and y is equal to t square so that's why i am defining alpha of t in this way t comma t square okay so let us find necessary things so we want alpha dash of t and f of alpha of t so let us find these values then alpha dash of t its derivative here simply we take derivative of each component derivative of t is 1 derivative of t square is 2t after that after that f of alpha of t also we need to have so f of let me write alpha of t which is t comma t square so let us follow the definition of f definition of f is this one x square minus 2xy and definition uh, comma y square minus 2xy so what is our x t what is our y t square so let us put those values here so we'll have x is t we are putting so t square minus 2 x y that means product t cube comma y square its square will be t raised to 4 minus 2 product will be t cube so f of alpha of t is this one Okay, so necessary things we have alpha dash of t we have calculated f of alpha of t also we have calculated. So let us apply the definition of line integral of a vector field and we will find a value. Then integration of f over given curve c is equal to let me write here. So our uh, we have a parameterization alpha which is defined on close interval minus 1 to 1. So that's why limits will be minus 1 to 1. So definition is inner product of f of alpha of t comma alpha dash of t dt. So let us put their values integration minus 1 to 1 inner product of f of alpha of t is t square minus 2t cube comma t raised to 4 minus 2t cube right comma alpha dash of t its value is 1 comma 2t dt okay so now, now simply we have to find the value of that inner product make a screenshot of it then we will go further you know well that how to find a value of inner product okay so let me write integration minus 1 to 1 so the first component into first component here we have 1 1 into the first component that means we will have t square minus 2t cube right 
plus second component into second component. So 2t into this one. So let me write 2t raised to 5, right, minus 2 into 2, 4, t raised to 4. So this thing we have dt. So it is not required. So let me remove it. Okay, so let us continue. So we have four terms having different different powers. So what will I do? I will take separate separate integration. So therefore integration minus one to one t square dt that minus two is constant will come outside t cube dt here two will come outside since it is constant t raised to five dt and minus four t raised to four dt. So you know that when we have a limits like this integration minus a to a this type of limit we have and uh, if the function is odd for odd function its value is 0 and if the function is even we write it to integration 0 to a f for the even function so you are familiar with this result so let us talk about the first integral t square is there the function is even so that's why what can i do i can follow this uh, second one so 2 integration 0 to 1 t square dt okay so by using this property we got this one t cube which is an odd function since power is odd so that's why the value of this integral will be zero no need to calculate what about this t raised to 5 which is again an odd function so the value of integral will be zero minus t raised to 4 it's an even function so i should follow this property so that 2 will come outside 2 into 4 8 and limits will be from 0 to 1 t raised to 4 d2 dt now it's very easy to calculate so 2 Integration of t square is t cube by 3, right, with limits 0 to 1, minus 8, its uh, integration will be t raised to 5 by 5 with limits 0 to 1. Let us simplify. If I put 1, we will have 1 by 3. If I put 0, we will have 0. So, it will be simply 2 by 3. What will happen here? If I put 1, we will have 8 by 5. And if I put 0, we will have 0. So, it will be 8 by 5. Now, simply we need to cross multiply and solve. So 10, okay, let me cross multiply, 10 minus 24 divided by 15. So the answer will be minus 14 by 15. So this is required answer, okay. So in this way, we calculated the value of line integral of a vector field. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.